Hey, babe, what's up? Babe, why is there no food in this house? Mado. What do you mean? You heard me. There is nothing for dinner. Wow. I mean, I stocked up the house last weekend. The food will not prepare themselves. Okay. First of all, watch your tongue. Okay? Woman. I have to say that too. Do you get me? Because I'm the one that stands up to piss in this relationship. Let's remember. Do you understand? Who's, whose responsibility is this to cook in any relationship? Right. So you want me to be in the kitchen cooking for you? What's that supposed to mean? You know the nature of my job. What nature are you talking about? I expect you to show a high level of understanding. What? Hey. It's clear that understanding has brought us to this point where you think you can yell at me to cook for you. Do you understand me? It's understanding that brought us to this point that you're spitting in my face talking rubbish about cooking. So we're doing this again? Oh no! We're doing it all! Tonight! Tonight! We're doing this again! What do you mean? We're doing this! We're doing this! Doing this. Until you come to your senses and realize the full scale of the responsibilities. Ah! Which one is that we're doing this? We're doing it all! Responsibilities? Which is? Which is what? What do you mean which is? So I have to tell you. See, that's a red flag. Okay? Because taking care of the home is a huge one for a woman that wants to be a wife. Does that make sense? Do you remember that anything? That is what I am practically doing, wow. Ryan! Who takes care of this house? I am the reason this house is standing! Look how we live! Look! No, look! Look how we live! It wouldn't have been possible without your silly web development job, would it? I bet that makes sense in your head. I bet you don't babe me right now. Don't babe me right now. Um, I don't know what to do. Now, I want to do my silly work, oh. Leave me now. I want to do my silly work. That can't pay for anything. I don't see here. You're going to break the lamp. Oh. I'm sorry, it's you that bought the lamp. I shouldn't even talk. Yes. You can cover your boss, you know, boss chick. Don't say that. Please, I don't know where it came from. That was reckless of me. I'm sorry. Please. Please, I didn't mean to hurt you. I can't just say sorry after saying a bunch of mean stuff. It doesn't erase what you said. The impact has been made already. Okay? I can't just call you names and say mean stuff and it's, oh, sorry. Now let's move on. It doesn't work like that. Hey, people say things when they're angry like that. Oh, silly of me, reckless of me, I'm sorry, okay? Please, I don't want us to fall apart, please. Please. <sighs> we, need, we need to find a way to make this work. It's not working right now. To be honest with you. Leave me alone. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Leave me alone. I want to do my silly work now. Stop it. Why is this? Why, why is this? 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 Why is <clears throat> Anna, we need to talk about the state of the company. We are running at a loss and downsizing might be inevitable. Downsizing? I thought that- Anna, no department is immune. We have to make tough decisions to stabilize what is left. Mr. Lawson, please, can I ask for some time? I, I can turn things around in the marketing department if you would give me some time, please. Anna, I appreciate your dedication, but time is a luxury we can't afford. The board is pushing for immediate action. Please, that's all I ask. I can make a difference. 
with six months. Please, if you would just give me that chance. Six months, Anna. If there is no substantial improvement, I'm afraid we have to make difficult choices. Thank you very much, sir. Six months, I won't disappoint you. Okay. You said it. Um, I need to go back to work. Thank you very much, sir. You're Thank welcome. You. Mm. Enjoy the rest of the day. Yeah. What's up, babe? You're wearing this green top. I like this green top. Thank you. <clears throat> you know I like this green top. Mm hmm Are you wearing that perfume? You're wearing that perfume. Hey. What's up, babe? Okay. You grabbed the work now. You've been working too much. It's been a long time. Hey, I have to put this you no, know, I totally understand what you're saying. It makes a lot of sense. My deadline is tight. You know, I know. I told you about it's not just your deadline that's tight. That's right. <laughs> babe, come on. You need to take a break, okay? It's going to help you. I cannot afford a break. Oh, no, because you must come back re-energized, babe. Come on. It can't just all be about work. There's a whole other world out I there. Am... Like, it can't just be about this thing now, babe. Come on, girl. My job is on the line, what? okay? It's not just about your job. It's about... It's about us. It's not just about me, it's for our future. Yeah, but our future is not going to be helped if we don't build and maintain and nurture the bond we have. How is that going to help our future? Okay, and I hate being like, I feel like I'm second to this. Like you're prioritizing your work over me. Why? That's wrong. You're not second to anything. Come on, that's a lie. Okay. When last did we? Right. So is that. I'll take care of myself. There's a jar of Vaseline in the guest room. Come on. Do the dishes, right? The kitchen is a mess. You want me to clean up after you? The kitchen is a mess. Maybe I have a big presentation today, okay? I can't leave the kitchen that way. So you you want me to clean up after you is what you're saying? Because the kitchen is a mess. Hey. So your your future husband should clean up after you. Hey, please. I promise I'll make it up to you. Yeah. Okay. By the way, I think we should. Why don't you buy me ice cream and maybe a toy, you know, to make it up to me? We should consider getting a housemaid. I don't want a house help, okay, maid, whatever you call them. I want you and me to handle the situation. I don't need one. We don't need one. We need one we to don't. better manage this house, Ryan. It's overwhelming for me. I can't do everything alone. It's not Especially okay. not with the pressure at work. I understand, okay? But I don't want a stranger in our space. We're still... Listen, we're still trying to work on us. We're working on a bond, okay? We don't need a stranger. It's step by step before we get one. Do you get me? So we can work on it. Ryan. But I'm not cleaning no kitchen or any of that. That's like your duty. So... Ryan. I am drowning. I need support here. This is affecting us. We don't need a house help. I can't even deal with this right now. I'm running late. Just stepped on my footwear. And I know you did it on purpose. You're so petty.
checked the report you sent to me earlier and yes I agree with you we are severely understaffed we need more hands on deck I assume you already know what the current situation of the company getting staffs is not feasible as the company is, is downsizing I know I had a meeting with Mr. Lawson it seems the financial situation is dire yeah this is serious. And we can't afford to fall behind. Especially in the marketing department. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> I I asked Mr. Lawson for six months to turn things around and he approved it. So I'm, I'm hopeful that in six months time we'll be out of the woods. I understand. We really need to do something and very fast. All right. Okay. All right. See you around. Thank you. You look nice. Thank you. <laughs> Gosh. So how sure are you we're going to finish designing the website in three weeks time? The website? Oh, we'll finish in three weeks. That's a lot. Just get me. We've done more in a shorter space of time. Three weeks is a lot now. Hi, babe. What's up? Ryan is here with me. Baby, I'm not good at guessing. What is it? Oh, wow. Are you serious? <laughs> this woman, you're trying to make me fat. Women. You're lucky. See that mentality, like if I don't do it, who will? It's not every wife that has that. I mean, Anne doesn't even have time to eat at home, not stock of cook. Like, that's not even an option these days. If you had a wife like mine, you would never go hungry. <laughs> you're bragging. <laughs> but you're right. I mean, you know, you're lucky. You're lucky. It's not everybody that's lucky. So, why don't you join us tonight? I mean, it's been ages since we hung out. Plus, my wife makes the best jello fries in the world. I mean, I might take you up on that offer, honestly, you know, because, I don't know, I might actually. Thank you. for It'd be great to have you around. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Anna, I think we need to address the work-life balance. I can see the strain on you. Right. This is showing on my face. Come on, you still look beautiful. <laughs> Work has been demanding and it's not any better at home. Mm. Carl, I can't even begin to tell you. It's crazy. Okay, I think you need to find a balance, dedicate work at home and um, prioritize self-care. I know, I know I need to make some changes, but where do I begin? You don't understand. It's crazy. Right now, I will take any help I can get from anywhere. So if you have any suggestions, please just roll them over. Okay. Delegate them. What am I delegating tasks to Ryan? I think you need a house help. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't even know about this agent. Don't worry, I have someone. You have someone? Yes. <laughs> it's okay. No, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm serious. I will, I will, I will send it to you. I'll send it to you. Oh, God. So you came highly recommended. My name is Anna. Uh, so if you move in with us, I want you to be a staying help. Is that okay by you? Um, yes. you a problem? No, 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 no. I it's hope fine. not, because um, we need you full time. Yeah. So basically, what I need you for is uh, general housekeeping. Yeah. So cooking and services and all of that. Oh. I have a fiance. His name is Ryan, and he works mostly from home. So um, I think your focus will actually be more to him. Your services will be more to him than to me. I my work my work 
takes a lot of my time. So that's why I needed to come step in and fill up um, in places where I cannot meet up at home. Is that fine? Right? Yes. <coughs> Great. So um, when can you resume? Mm. Tomorrow is fine. Tomorrow? Oh, excellent. <laughs> All right, nice. Okay, so I'll call my friend and say I have had a chat with you and that, you know, we've had an agreement. All right, thank you very much. All right. All right. Bye. 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 I'll call you tomorrow. Okay, great. Great. If you need um, directions or anything, I'll just call me and I'll help you out there. Yeah? Yeah, all right, bye. Hey, hey, what's up? I'm good. How was your day? Well, it's okay. How's yours? Mm. How's your day? It was nice, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it was. Better now that you're seeing me, though, right? <laughs> I missed you. Babe, I have something to say to you. Okay. Mm. I made a decision about hiring a help. About this. We talked about this already. Come on. Babe, I have to find a way to balance work and home. You complain about me being busy. This will help us manage our lives better. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. Babe, come on. No. We already talked about this now. I don't know. I know what you're worried about, but I can assure you that she's not going to replace me, okay? So it's not about me neglecting her. The bond we share. Okay, it's just so I can have a better time for you. Your promises will change us. Promise. Alright. But like, you know, we must keep certain standards and stuff, like, but okay, fine, whatever. Thank you. Um actually she's here. What? What if I said no? She's here already? Yeah. Okay, no. Come on. Well, you already assumed that I was going to say yes. I I know how understanding you can be, baby. You're so manipulative. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Love you. <laughs> Come here. Yeah. Hey, Linda. Hey, yeah, so, um, babe, this is Uloma. And Uloma, this is the man of the house. So. His name is Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have certain like standards that we keep. Um, oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Uh, yeah. Um, but we have certain standards that we keep around here. Okay. I mean, we like our privacy. We actually love our privacy. That's like paramount for both of us. So it's not like I'm confining you to one area in the house, which is your room. But the more you stay there, it's probably going to be better. So, yeah. Welcome. 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 <clears throat> I'll show you the room. Right. Mm -hmm. You see? Are you okay? Why is your face like that? Is everything all right? Mine is Mr. Ryan. What about him? It's obvious he doesn't like me staying here. I don't like the way he treats me. Did anything happen in particular? Just, it's just so obvious he doesn't want me here, and it's making me very uncomfortable. Just sit, please. Just have a seat. Okay. 
so you see with Ryan I think I've spoiled Ryan I do basically everything for him right he's so used to having me do everything literally everything for him but with my work and the demands from work obviously we have we've had this conversation I can't meet up and that was why we spoke about having you here. I basically am twisted into letting you come in. But don't worry, he will come around. He'll get used to you. Okay? He's just someone that's averse to change. You know, some people are like that. Okay? But with time, he'll get used to you. And I, I like your work. You're doing a fantastic job. I have no complaints whatsoever. And I'm sure he sees that. It's just that. So please just give him time, okay? All right? Alright. So how's how's the the meat? You know how I told you I want it very tender, right? Yeah, okay. So. okay. Oh, sure. Thank you. Anna, I have been looking into potential strategies to boost our financial standing. There is an opportunity we cannot afford to miss. Okay, what opportunity is that, sir? Good. You see, there is a new estate company emerging in the market, planning significant developments across Abuja, Lagos, and Kaduna. And we want to be their official insurance provider. Right, I understand, sir. Is a crucial one, it seems. Mm, more than crucial, Anna. You see, if we secure this deal, it could turn things around for us. And it might be the key to avoiding downsizing. Okay, I'm going to give it my best shot. I'll give it my all. I won't let you down, sir. I know you won't. <laughs> um, you will be presenting our company. Okay, and I want to make sure that this deal goes through. Rest assured, sir. I won't let you down. Good. These are clothes yeah. for my meeting with the estate company I told you about. This is for meeting? Mm-hmm. Wait, what? Well, this is for meeting? Babe, look at this now. Come on now. This is scarf now. This can't be for a meeting now. I thought you got this for us. Hey. Are you for real? This is like provocative to say the least. Like. No, these are not provocative. These are elegant. Um, they'll help me feel confident. Listen, I hung up my jersey when I asked you to marry me. I know how the game goes. When a client see you wearing that, it gives off the wrong first impression. It's kind of saying like, hey, I'm here to work, but I'm also down. Do you get me? I'm just saying. I understand that there's a fine line, okay? But trust me, these are just for me to appear... What? Sexy? Professional. What professional? The fine line. You crossed the to... fine line like 20 miles ago wearing this to work. Babe, come on now. <laughs> Oh, now you're hiding this. No, oh, no, you should be proud of it now. It's classy and elegant. Stop, you're just... Babe, I'm just saying, I'm a bit worried. I have to be honest with you. Like, I'll be lying to myself if I didn't tell you. I mean, I don't even hang out with you anymore. We don't spend time together. And now you're going to work with this. Babe, come on now. Come on now. Look at this now. For work, babe, come on. What's up now? Babe. I don't want to lose you. That's what I'm saying. Like, these guys have more money than you. me. Hey, no, and the young Come on. Hey, hey. You don't hey, just hey. like this for me. See, I'll never do anything to jeopardize us, okay? Is that a promise? Mm, promise? You promise? You mean everything to me. Mm. Mm -hmm. It seems like two handkerchiefs that are so together. <laughs> you wear it for me now, right? Come on, don't be like that. Now, I want you to be like that for me and only me. Okay. You want it now? <laughs> Albert, this is Anna our head of marketing. She will be handling the details of our package. Trust me, she's good at what she does. Mm. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Albert. I look forward to working well with you. The pleasure is all mine, Anna. And please call me Albert, okay? 
Your elegance is quite captivating, I must say. Thank you, Albert. I believe our collaboration will be mutually beneficial. Yeah, of course. And I would suggest uh, when this deal pulls through that we celebrate. You know, perhaps dinner in a fancy restaurant in town. And trust me, I know quite a number of exotic places. The owners are my friends. <laughs> uh, yeah, until then, sir. I think we should keep the conversation professional. You're quite a tough negotiator, and I, I like that. Yes, so... Um... Mr. Lawson, Albert, I've prepared a detailed presentation outlining the coverage options we have and their benefits to your properties across Abuja, Lagos and Kaduna. Actually, this is, this is not what I want. This is too basic. I mean, it's, I need a comprehensive approach. This is just too basic. I assure you, Albert, that we tailored this proposal to meet the specific needs of your properties. Our rates are competitive and the coverage is extensive. Anna, I need you to understand that I got a more enticing offer from another insurance company. If you want to secure this deal, you really have to do better. All right? Well, thank you for your feedback, Albert. I am committed to making this partnership successful. So if you could share details of the proposal you got, I will gladly revisit our proposal and address every concern you have and then present a counter offer. Number one, I need you to do a more convincing presentation. Okay? Set up another meeting and this time around, make it count. Otherwise, I will have to consider the other offer on the table. I understand, Albert. I will set up another meeting promptly with an improved presentation. Thank you for the opportunity. All right, please. Do something about it. <sighs> Anna, that presentation didn't go well as planned. Albert wasn't impressed. Look, we cannot afford to lose this deal. My apologies, Mr. Lawson. I will rework it and make sure that the next presentation is flawless. Damn your apology! Look, this isn't about the presentation. If we lose this deal, downsizing is inevitable and you will be affected. Me? Mr. Lawson, I've been, I've been working... I've been working really hard. The and company is in precarious situation. If we don't secure this deal, I'm afraid we have to make tougher decisions. I need you to understand the gravity of the situation. Good day, Anna. So, how are you doing? Mm -hmm. so, so, so. Oh, come here. There's a new restaurant in the estates, actually. I checked them out. They have a website, so I think it's legit. You should get me. Why don't we try it out this weekend? Mm, yeah, sure. Whatever. Uh, is everything okay? Yeah, I just have a lot on my plate right now. Yeah, okay. It's just a lot of work. Seem like you've had a lot on your plate lately. Ryan, I'm sorry, okay? Please. Work is demanding right now. I just need to get this right. It's not just about work, okay? It's about us as a team. We don't even talk. It's like... I'm doing everything I can to save my job and secure our future, Ryan. I need to understand that, at least. Wow. You're saving us. Okay. I thought we were going to come in the second time you come as Jesus Christ, but you came as Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. Great. No, you're saving us. I'm not doing anything to contribute in, to our future. It's just you. 
Let me let you do that. Thank you very much. I'm so helpless. I need you to save me. Anna, Albert has requested a more detailed presentation in a different setting. We both know he wasn't satisfied in the last one. Well, I, I believe we can have a more productive conversation in a less formal environment. What do you say, Anna? Uh, sure, Mr. Lawson, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to secure this deal. <laughs> Great. Uh, there's an exclusive restaurant nearby. We can go there, you know, have lunch, then you can make your presentation. Yeah, all right. Let's, let's do it. Yeah. Shall we? <laughs> <clears throat> Anna, I have good news. <laughs> really? Yeah. <clears throat> Um, you see, Albert called. He was quite impressed with your presentation. Impressed? But I, I thought that... Anna, he loved it. In fact, the approach at the restaurant seemed to have worked. You know, he is now seriously considering gringo insurance. Really? <laughs> That's fantastic news. <laughs> you did it, Anna. Your adaptability and commitment made the difference. You see something? We are just one meeting away from securing the mega deal. All thanks to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Lawson. I'm oh, relieved. Welcome. I couldn't have done it without your support. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. You end it. In fact, the success is yours. <laughs> no thanks to you. <laughs> yes. Um, Anna, you know, I need you to follow up with Albert promptly. The success of this deal depends on maintaining a strong connection. Well, absolutely. I'm aware of the importance of staying engaged. Yeah, I'm good. Um, <clears throat> during the last presentation, he mentioned he had an offer from another company. We need to ensure he doesn't reconsider. I will call him immediately. I don't want anything jeopardizing this deal. Fantastic. You see, your relationship with Albert is crucial. Keep him engaged address any concerns you may have. And lastly, reinforce the value of our partnership. Very important. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll, I won't let you down, sir. I will follow up and make sure I see the deal. Beautiful. Um, in fact, this calls for celebration. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uloma. Hey, Uloma. Hey, what's up? I'm fine, sir. Okay, so it's uh, Anna's birthday today. And I almost oh. forgot. Like, that was so crazy. That would have been crazy if I forgot, right? And I'm sure she forgot. So, um, we need to do something special for her, and I need your help. Yes. I'll be glad to help you. Anything you need, just mention it. Yeah, like, so I would like to, um, for us, really, you, to make like a special birthday menu. She get me of all her favorite, like, meals and stuff. Oh. I think that would be cool. Okay. Um, do you have any idea what her favorite dishes are? I mean, I'm husband of the year. <laughs> I'm not blaming my own trumpet. I'm just saying, I know my wife, you know? Okay. She loves your fried rice. Oh. She goes on about the balance of the spices. Like, at one time I was trying to sleep, she wouldn't let me sleep. So that's number one. She loves your fried rice. She mm -hmm. loves your goosey soup. Oh. Yes, with powder, not the powder one, the actual. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and then uh, she loves your more more. Aww. She does. I know it's a weird menu, but she loves your more more and custard. So, fried rice, a goosey, and powder. The actual pounding one, and then uh, more and more. Okay. You can get that. Sorted. Yeah, sure. Great. Don't worry. I'll make sure that she's gonna have the best birthday dinner ever. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. Appreciate that. You get You're it. Nice. <laughs> um, I want it to be special for her. I don't know. I mean, it's a bit like I'm pumped up. I know. I know. <laughs> don't worry. Just just let me do it. I'm gonna handle it. All right. All right. All right. High five. Let's get it. All, right. all the stuff is, you have all yes, the stuff. Yes, yes, sure. All right, great. great. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right. Bye. All right.
Happy birthday, my love. Okay? I want to make you special. No, no, no. It's a... Oh, no. Okay? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I know you're tired. You've been working hard. You're a very hardworking woman. So I prepared we, mostly her, actually all of her. Come up with the idea though. A special birthday menu for you. Okay, this is a fried rice. Okay, we've got the fried rice just how you like it with the balanced spices and all that. I don't know, right? And we have a goosey soup it's in there. Okay, we pounded yam. They actually pounded it. It wasn't the powder one. Okay, and we have moi moi and custard. Mm -hmm. Okay, just how you like it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And I have this for you, special for my special you. woman. Yeah, thank you. It's been a long day, so. No, 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 no. I'm, I wanted to. It's been a long day. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mr. Ryan, is there a problem? She doesn't seem to like the surprise. I don't know. I guess she's tired or something. No. Just for CV. You can pack everything. Anna, is everything okay? You seem a bit off today. I had a rough night. Okay. Ryan tried to make my birthday special, but my reaction was off. I didn't respond appropriately. Oh. See, relationship can be very stressful, especially when you're trying to balance work life and uh, personal life. What happened? He made me a surprise dinner, but just I was just too tired to appreciate it. I feel terrible to lose. Ah, come on. It happens. What stress can actually affect our personal life? The most important thing is the way we address it and make amends. Have you talked to him about it? Not yet. How am I supposed to do that? Can I face him? I, I couldn't bring it up. Are you serious? Apologize to him. Make it up to him. Do something. Like, do something sweet. Okay. <laughs> Good. You're right. All Relationship right. can be can be stressful, but be worth it. Take care of your home and take care of your job. I know. I know you're right. I'll talk to him and find a way to make him right. That's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you need to cheer up. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Can we talk? What do we have to talk about? I want to apologize for not appreciating the efforts you put into making my birthday special. You don't have to give me anything. I know, but I wanted to. It's light. <laughs> hey, light doesn't necessarily mean rubbish. True. Well, I thought it might make up for my actions. And I was thinking that perhaps we could go to that luxury hotel you mentioned earlier. My treat. Yeah. Well, thank you for the light gifts and thank you for the gesture. Come on, <laughs> hey. I'm sorry, okay? It's okay. So what have you been up to? I've been crying myself to sleep. I was such a broke my heart. <laughs> Come on. I was wondering that I was serving you food, but you're serving me breakfast. Come on. Yeah, um, so Ryan and I are going to spend the weekend at a hotel. So 
so you can take the weekend off. Yeah? Oh, that's very nice. Um, I'll take the weekend off. Is everything okay? You don't particularly seem happy about it. <laughs> no, I'm very, very happy. And I'm so happy for the photo of you. You're finally going to rest. Yes. You know that if there's anything troubling you, you can talk to me about it, right? I want I to be sure everything is okay. And I'm very, very fine. I'm just happy. Hi. Uh, thank you. You can go back to what you were doing. I have something important for you. <clears throat> All right, what, what could that be? This is an invitation from Albert. He wants you to join him in Abuja for the grand opening of his mega shopping mall this weekend. This is crucial for our company too. Uh, well, Mr. Lawson, I appreciate the opportunity, but you see, I already have plans for the weekend. <laughs> I promised Ryan, my fiancé, that we'll spend the weekend together. Anna, this is not about you. You see, Albert is a big fish. If we seal this deal, it will be a game changer for the company. We just want you to be there, represent us, and be on his good side. Yeah, but this weekend is important to me and Ryan as well. I already gave him my word. <laughs> Your job is on the line here. If you want to keep working with us, you need to make sacrifices, and this is non-negotiable. All right. I'll go to Abuja and make sure that the deal with Albert sails through. If we successfully seal the deal, it will open doors for bigger opportunities, and you will have enough resources for weekend vacation with Ryan. I understand, sir. I think that will be all for now. Let me go back to work. Hmm? All right, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Packing already. I don't want to hear any story. I don't want to hear any last minute rushing packing. You know how I get sometimes. Do you think I need two dress shoes? Just in case. Um, Never know. Might find another restaurant that's dope that wants to check out. Babe, we need to talk. Huh? Um, What'd you say? There's something I need to tell you. So I. I got an invite from Albert, that's one of the clients we're going after to insure his estate. Well, he's opening up a mall in Abuja this weekend and Mr. Lawson says I must attend. Apparently it's crucial for our business with him. Yeah. That's what Mr. Lawson says. What do you say? Hey. This is ridiculous. Come on. It's absolutely ridiculous. We agreed on this. Okay, we're going to go have fun. A getaway, both of us. I've been looking forward to this since forever. I've been looking forward to it. I can't tell if you've been looking forward to it. I can't tell. That was just words, okay? Mr. Lawson said his, he said my job is on the line if I don't go. Everything is about your job. Every single thing is about your job. Your job is more important than me. It's obvious. I mean, you don't even have to say it. You know, your actions prove it. <laughs> 
Kevin, that's not fair. Come on, what's not fair is you not coming along with me for the getaway. That's what's not but fair. I'm trying. How are you trying? Okay, he said come along and you're like, yeah, sure, sir. I don't have any other things to do. Really? What do you mean really? That's what's happening, isn't it? Is that what you think? I don't want us to fall apart because of this. Okay. Yeah. So how about this? How about how about you come with me to Abuja? We can just take it as the weekend getaway. It might not be the hotel or the resort we, we planned, but at least we'll be together. Please. It's not that easy. Okay, I can just up and leave and go to Abuja. It doesn't work like that. Okay? This is about priorities. It's obvious I'm not one of yours. Hey, don't let's try to work this out. Yeah, I'm working out. Mrs. Kamsi, I don't know what to do. Ryan is upset about the Abuja trip. But on the other hand, Mr. Lawson is breathing down my neck about it. What should I do? I don't know what to do. I understand this is a difficult situation for you. Your job is important, so is your relationship with Ryan. Balancing the two of them is like working on a tightrope. I don't want to lose Ryan. I can't, I can't, I can't lose Ryan. I love him too much to let him go. I can't lose him. But you see, if I take this trip, it will affect my relationship with him. But at the same time, if I don't, I might lose my job. I don't know what to do. What should I do? How can I handle it? I don't even know how to handle this. It's Babe. messing me up, honestly. Babe. Sometimes in life, we face difficult situations. But the most important thing is what matters to us the most. I don't know. Is there a way you can compromise or, you know, take Brian with you? You, you think I haven't done that? You think I haven't tried? I did. I suggested it, but he refused. He feels neglected. I don't know how else to handle this. Seriously, this is... I understand how you feel. It's tough for you, I know. But I think you should, you know, try explaining everything to, to, to Ryan. Explain the situation to him. And assure him that you'll make it up to him. I know he will understand. Relationship is all about sacrifice. So is your job. I'll have yet another conversation with him. It's not like I've not been talking. I've, I've explained things. But I get it. You're right. Um, I'll have an honest conversation with him again. With the hope that he will understand. I just, I just wish Ryan could just get this. Okay. Honestly. Sometimes, being open and honest is the best way forward. I'm here for you, all right? Thank you. Oh my goodness. Anna! <laughs> You're welcome to Abuja. Thank you very much. Look at you, please sit. <laughs> wow. You're looking so ravishing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, so now that you're here, we're going to, you know, give closure to the business, mm, all right? Yeah. Take our time and do that. Thank you for the invitation. I'm glad of the chance to work with you. It's a big opportunity for my company, so 
we are eager to close this deal. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's going to be mutually beneficial, okay? Yeah, so yeah. we'll take our time then. We'll put everything together. <laughs> <laughs> um, waiter, please. <sighs> I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yeah. I, I want to promise you're going to have a nice time here. Uh, yes, yes. I believe it should be in the room. It should be... Uh, yeah, no, I kept it here. What? Don't worry, bro, I'm going to find it. It's, uh, I believe it should be in the drawer. Hold on. Uh, yeah, no, 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 we're going to. For this type of coverage are uh, usually based on replacement cost value and not actual cash value. Uh, now, actual cash value takes care of the replacement cost minus depreciation, right? But uh, whereas they extended. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Anna, I told you not to call me, sir. Okay, my name is Albert. All right. Anna, I do not doubt your competence. I know you're good. I just need to tell you this. I like you a lot. From the moment I saw you in the main outside, I felt for you, you know, so... Well, uh, you don't need to give me an answer right now. My driver is going to drop you off at your hotel. And then when we're done with the event, we can relax and talk about it, all right? I don't expect an answer right now, okay? Anna, you're so beautiful. Um, yes, sir. Yes, of course. Um, no, it's a few minutes past three right now. I'll be there before four, for sure. Yeah, no, I'm sure I'll be there. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you for the opportunity. I really appreciate this. All right. See you in a minute. Bye. Ooh, okay. 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 Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. So what happened? Let's do ankle. Ah! Oh, it hurts like hell. Ow! Oh. Oh. Okay, no, let me just help you. Sorry. I wasn't looking. Don't worry, I'll get you some eyes and ointment. Give me a second, give me a second. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. Hold on. All right, let's go, let's go. Let's go. That's the worst possible time, man. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, no. Thank you. Thank you. That actually feels good. How did you learn how to massage so well? Well, I used to be a masseuse and an auxiliary nurse. So you can say this is a bonus to my skill. Wow. <laughs> is there anything you can do? I mean, you're a nurse, you massage great, you're a masseuse, and you can cook well. So that's impressive. I'm just trying my best to be versatile. Yeah, that's, that's, that's impressive. Oh my God. Okay. What is this? I'm trying to get my phone. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh. I have an important meeting. I should be at in a little bit. And if I don't make it, I must lose a big deal. Like a huge deal. And I this is the worst possible time. I don't understand what's going on. Man. My luck is horrible. Um, why don't you just consider doing a Zoom meeting? I think you could just do that from the comfort of your home. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. That's brilliant. Yeah, Thank you food. so much. You also, you're not just a great cook, a great nurse, a masseuse, you're a problem solver and an angel. <laughs> Thank you so I much. Know. You're a utility player in the team. You know? Thank you. I appreciate you. That's a great idea. 
wasn't even going to make it there by phone. That place is fun. So better again. Thank you so much. Okay. What is this? What is Albert getting at? From the look of things, this man wants to make our transaction with him conditional. No, he won't do that. He's a thorough businessman. Ah, come on, Anna. You have seen the signs. Don't deny it. He definitely wants to make your business with him premised on you saying yes to him. Yes to dating him. Oh gosh, what do I do? I love Ryan with my every breath. I can't cheat on him. What do I do? How do I manage this without losing this deal? Mr. Lawson will fire me if I mess this up. So what on earth do I do? Come in. Mr. Ryan. Hey. I brought you some catfish paper soup. Wow. Oh, thank you. I hope it help you feel better. Uh, yeah. It's going to help me feel better. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you need help? Okay. No, nah, it's okay. I'm going to devour it in a second. Um, can I sip? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, so how did the Zoom meeting go? Uh, it actually went well. You know, they're impressed with my presentation. Um, so they gave me the e-commerce job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Well, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Wow. <laughs> I wish Anna could be that happy for my successes. <sighs> Mr. Ryan, you know people have different ways of expressing their love and affection. So I guess she might just have her reasons. Hmm? I shouldn't have said that. That was foul. I shouldn't have said that. You were thinking out loud. Yeah. You were literally screaming that. <laughs> wow. That makes me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I um, um, help you with your massage. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was going to be painful. No, nah, don't worry. I got you. Thank you for that. You're welcome. And thank you for being here, you know, sharing in my happiness. I mean, <laughs> it's the biggest deal I've ever closed. The funny thing is I didn't have to leave the house. I'm so happy for you. So, uh, how are you enjoying your stay in Abuja? So far, so good. <laughs> it's a lot more steaming here than in Lagos. Yeah, yeah, it is. You know, this is a very quiet and uh, exclusive area, unlike Lagos that is rowdy. <laughs> yeah, Anna, like I hinted you when you came, I, I like you a lot, okay? I mean, I'm seriously attracted to you. This is quite strange because it's not like me, but you're so beautiful and no, no, no more unhealthy man will see you and not react this way, okay? So please, I really want us to be very good friends. It's going to be not just um, beneficial to you, you know, I'm going to personally make sure that uh, you get everything you need, all right? Um, can I, can I think about it? 
Okay, that's okay, you know, but uh, I want you to know that the proposal you came for will largely depend on this proposal. <laughs> I want to assure you, Mr. Albert, that if you decide to go with us, then you are in the best and most capable hands around this part of the world. Um, I believe that you already know about my MD, Mr. Lawson's um, proficiency. Um, but I, on the other hand, I have bagged um, two MBAs in my field and a number of certifications. Gringo Insurance emerged the best insurance company in Nigeria as announced by the World Economic Magazine Award. Um, so um, rest assured that whatever offer that we are, giving, we are giving you is the best you will get around this part of the world, around these clients. So... Um, Anna, uh, you see, I, I know everything about your company. I know the capacity of your company. I did my due diligence. All right? We're both adults, all right? We don't need to drag this any further. Please, give me an answer. Mr. Albert, I am engaged to a man whom I deeply love. We are building a future together and I wouldn't want to do anything that would jeopardize that relationship. That's okay. And I'm not single either. I'm married with kids. I have three daughters. <laughs> but it doesn't change anything, okay? I'm attracted to you. I just need you to be my friend. It doesn't change anything. I am sorry, sir. But I'm really not interested in that sort of relationship with you. I am absolutely interested in doing business with you. I assure you that, but I can't have anything else beyond that with you. And you're giving me the impression that you're wasting my time with you. I mean, with all the experience you have in, in the insurance industry, you're supposed to know how these things work. Okay, but apparently you don't. In that case, I, I guess I have to take my leave now. Besides your ankle strain, what were the highlights of your weekend? Not much. I just stayed home trying to recover. Thank God for all of us. She made the recovery process easy. So she, she did a good job, huh? Fantastic job. You haven't asked me about my trip. Why should I ask you? It's not my business. Wow. When did my business stop being your business? Let's not talk about this right now, please. Hey. <clears throat> Babe, I've tried to explain this, okay? I'm sorry. But I was caught between the rock and the hard place. What was I supposed to do? Okay, what good would have would it have been to any of us if we went on a weekend getaway only for me to lose my job the following day? Honey, everything I do, I do for us, for our future. Please, can, can we just keep that in mind, okay? I'm going to be made partner at Gringo Insurance in a few years, but that will never happen if I lose my job. Lost my appetite. 
Babe, we don't have to be like this. Why are you going? Come on, babe. We don't always have to be like this. Listen, okay? Just listen to me carefully. I don't know the games you're playing in this house, but it ends here. Do you hear me? Games? Ma. What are you doing with my fiancé? Ma, not to... What? what? Mm. Listen, I don't even need you to speak. But if I catch you being silly, I will skin you alive. Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Get lost! I said uh, out of my sight. Sorry. But I... Oh, baby, you're back. You okay? Okay, what's going on? I want to Loma out of this house. Why? What did she do? What I, happened? I just want her out of here. What? I employed her after all. I pay her salary. Yeah, you do, but you know, you should have a valid reason for wanting her gone. And if I don't? That would be irrational. Okay, you can't just fire someone because you can. You know, that would be wicked and selfish, to be honest with you, babe. Yeah, maybe that's what I want to be. Babe, that's not who you are. Okay, stop. That's who I want to be. Why would you want to be that person, babe? Come on, stop. Okay? Babe, just calm down. Okay? Don't do that. Come on. People change, Ryan. Yeah, for the better. Not for the worse. Well, I want to be worse. Don't. Come on. Stop. Stop. Please. Okay? Leave me the heck alone. Oh, wow. She's feisty. All right? I see a small smile, Sharon. Well, act like I didn't see it. Do you want juice? There are different kinds of juice. But okay, do you want orange juice? <laughs> yes, I got you to smile. Good job. I'm not going anywhere. Come here, kiss in your forehead. Mm. I want to make up, mess up with makeup. You look beautiful. Your shorts. <laughs> Mr. Lawson? Anna, I have good news. It's obvious, sir. <laughs> Albert has agreed. His estate will be insured with us. Your hard work and sacrifice have paid off. This is fantastic <laughs> news. I'm so glad it all worked out. Yes, and this would not have been possible without you. <laughs> in fact, I salute your dedication. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you for believing in me. Your faith in me just not me to go the full length. I'm so grateful, sir. Thank you. You're always welcome. Um, our jobs are now secured. No one is losing their job. That is so good to hear. <laughs> that is so good to hear. And um, we decided to give you one week off work. Thank you so much, sir. I really need the break. Yes. Thank you. And again, in addition, this is a three days getaway ticket for two, all expense paid at Lamont Resort. Is this for real? It's real. You can see it yourself. Thank you so much, sir. I can't wait to tell Ryan yeah, about this. Oh, come on. Thank you. You earned it, you deserve it. And this company appreciates every bit of it. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Congratulations, <laughs> Thank you, sir. Enjoy the moment. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I cannot believe that you're refusing this vacation. It is a once in a lifetime opportunity, Ryan. Besides, it's, it's a lot bigger than the one that we had planned. Babe, I worked so hard. And this is my company.
company's way of saying thank you. Babe. Yeah? Let's calm down. She's sick. Oh, am I sick? We can't just leave her and go off. She depends on us. That says a lot about us if we leave somebody that's sick that depends on us and just go off on a vacation. Okay. Right, so we take her to a hospital. She'll be well taken care of. Besides, she's an adult. She can manage a few days without us. Please. It will mean a whole lot to me if we can just take this time out and spend sweet loving time and all together. Babe, 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 babe. Listen, don't understand. Babe, don't understand. Okay, Uloma has no sokomi phobia. She's terrified of hospitals. Just the thought of going there sends her into a panic. Okay, I can't force her to go there. That would be heartless of us. Really? Really, Ryan? Really, babe, really. She does have no sokomi phobia. Are you sure she's suffering that and this is just an excuse? Whoa. Why would I lie about that? That doesn't even make sense. Like, why would you even think that? I know Uloma has been with us for a while now. Right? She's one of the few honest people we know. She wouldn't lie about something like that. You saw her reaction when Dr. Asuni said we should bring her to the hospital. She freaked out. She freaked out. We can't Ryan, leave her there. It seems like you, you freaking care more about her well-being than hey. ours. Okay, that doesn't even make sense. It doesn't make sense? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense? Ryan! Babe, listen. We've dreamt of this trip for so long. Alright? So why can't, why can't you just do it? Why can't we just, just go? Huh? Why are you using this phobia, this silly phobia thing as an excuse Why are you now? turning this a, it's, you're turning this into something else, like it's a big deal. It's not a big deal, somebody's sick and that we have to stay and take care of her. That's all I'm saying. It's not like I'm, it's so outlandish what I'm saying. Am I crazy? Somebody's sick and she depends on us, she can't go to the hospital. We can't leave her at home and go away. Okay. Just come out with it. With what? Tell me. Tell me, tell me what your true intentions are. Just oh. tell me. Come out with it, Ryan. Are you deliberately trying to use this stupid phobia thing as an excuse to avoid spending time with me? All right. Do you know what? I don't want to argue. Honestly. Okay? Because all I'm saying is that I want to take back and take care of a woman that's sick. That's it. Okay? Good day. You have to see me. Yes, uh, it's regarding the conversation we had two days ago. Okay. Um, I already spoke with the MD and he's okay with you giving me the contacts of the security company that installed our CCTV here. Okay, in that case, there's nothing to worry about. I'll just forward you the contacts. Thank you very much. That's great. Would that be all? Oh, yes, that's all. Thank you very much. You've been of great help. Anytime. Thank you. Enjoy. You too. I'll expect the numbers. No problem. <coughs> Hello. Oh. I got set. <laughs> this year, so we send them to me in a bit. So the MD approved of it. I told you you won't. Is this really what you want? Are you sure about this? Installing a CCTV camera to monitor your own home. Might be more than what you bargained for. So what should I do? Hmm? Ryan seems to be drifting away. He seems to be more comfortable having Uloma around him than he is with me. What am I supposed to do? I understand how troubling this is. But CCTV idea wasn't the whole thing. Mrs. Gamsey, what other options do I have? I think, I think you and Brian need to, need to have a conversation. Sit down and talk about it. Communication is important in a relationship, not investigation. Communication, communication, conversation, conversation. Okay. You think it's the best bet here? You're sure? Trust me. 
without any doubt, it does work. Your cleaning is no longer necessary. Just pack your things and leave, huh? Uh uh. Ma, what did I do? You don't like the cleaning. Is there some. Do I have to explain myself to you? Your services are no longer needed. Leave. Simple. Ma, I know you don't have to explain, but at least tell me. What did I do? Is it. Is you don't have to know anything, you ingrate. Leave my house! Uh 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 uh. What's going on? What's going on? What's that? What do you think is going on? What does it look like? Hmm? What do you think is going on? I'm, I'm sending home your cheap whore. I know you've been messing around with her. You're talking nonsense. Nonsense. Okay? I am talking nonsense. Right. No, you are the one who's talking nonsense. Ryan, I am disappointed in you. I give you all my love and, and this, this is how you say thank you to me. I've never cheated on you a day in my life. Okay, that has never happened. Talking about disappointment, that word fits you. Okay, it's more appropriate for you. Me? Yes, you. How? I've never cheated on you either. You better think before you say anything, okay? Because I have evidence. Evidence day. Evidence? Please, show me the evidence. What evidence are you talking about? Oh, you want evidence? You stop wearing your engagement ring, okay? Ever since you started pitching to that guy, what's his name? I don't even know his name. One, uh, Albert, whatever his name is. You stop wearing your engagement ring, you started dressing provocatively. I think I didn't notice. Well, maybe if you ask questions, Ryan, all these accusations will not have been necessary. I have a question for you. Okay? How come it was so easy for you to close the deal after you took a trip to Abuja with Mr. Albert? Huh? What did you do in Abuja? What happened? Ryan. Huh? What happened in Abuja? What did you do? First of all, I have gold dermatitis. Yes, you can confirm my story from Dr. Atsumi. And second of all, if you think that I had to have an affair with Albert to close the deal, then now I know how little you think of me! Well, maybe I should have asked you. Sorry, yes, you should have asked me instead of looking for a reason to cheat on me with our maid! Okay. Everything you heard or saw with Oloma and I was staged, okay? I mean, we just wanted you to realize that we are important as well. I mean, we're just paying attention to your work. You didn't pay attention to us. Staged? Yes, ma. I swear, I promise. Everything you saw, we saw us do, it was staged and it was my idea. And I'm sorry. You know, your relationship was at stake. So I just did what I had to do. I was thinking it was for the best. I'm sorry. I don't have any intention to steal your man. Uh -uh. Why would I do that? Mr. Ryan, are you okay? You seem worried. I have a lot on my mind, I won't lie. I have a lot running through my mind. Is this something you can share with me? It's about my relationship, you know? It's about Anna. A little bit worried, oh. well, more than a little bit. 
Um, now you can talk to me, right? I mean, there's a saying that goes, a problem shared is the first step to healing. We're drifting apart. We don't talk anymore. We don't communicate as much as we used to. We're just drifting apart. Mr. Ryan, you know I care about you, right? More than a house help should. As a matter of fact, I am in love with you. But don't worry, I know my boundaries and I am not about to overstep them. And I can clearly see that you love her so much. She was such a wonderful man. And I see how much you love her. I don't know why she just became distant. But what if we come up with a game to help her realize that she might be missing out? What kind of game are you talking about? I don't understand. Are you sure that's the right approach? It's just a game. I mean, it's just a game that will help her realize that she might be losing a great man like you. Just trust me, my work. Seriously? Yes, ma. I'm sorry. I thought that was the best thing I could do to save your relationship. I'm sorry that I... I'm sorry. I agreed. That was the right thing to do. To save us. I love you, baby. Mr. Nelson. Anna, um, this file from Vasco Production Limited. I need you to go through their feasibility study. Actually, sir. Okay. I was about to come to your office to hand in my resignation letter. No, I can't accept this. Anna, you are too valuable to this company. I understand how much this job is affecting your personal life. But no. Look, Anna, we can't afford to lose you. Yeah. Okay, what about this? You come to the office three times a week and work from home the remaining two days. Let us make it flexible for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate your understanding. You, you're very welcome. You see, your well-being is crucial. We value you. And we want to ensure a healthy work-life balance. Please reconsider this. Thank you, sir. I'll see you later. Huh? All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Like the one million to say this in our relationship, but it's kind of true. So making me blush. I'm not trying to, I'm just saying facts. I'm trying to say something okay. serious okay. here. Okay, yeah, you're saying something about <laughs> that. Okay, so I was going to say that I realize how important we are to each other, and from now on, nothing should take precedence over us. You're right. I agree as well, you know? I mean, we should be each other's priority, us, as a relationship, you know, it's us against the world. Mm -hmm. So work, suspicions, all of those nonsense, I mean, nothing, I'm not going to let anything come between us. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. all on you, Cheryl. I didn't do anything wrong, do you get me? But, I, you know, I, 
Nah, let's not be like I'm blaming. It's not a blame game. It, it is. No, no, no. It's that. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to try and communicate better, but hey. everything that I went wrong was your fault. But I'll try. And communicate. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. I'll communicate better and I won't let any outside pressures mess with us. Okay, communication is my own issue. I don't know. This, I should come this to now. you. No, What's I'm that? trying oh, to put oh, myself to you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm still getting over the trauma. The, all the trauma. Oh, baby. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> now it's competition. Give me my glass, Joe. It's not competition. Who loves who more now? <laughs> yeah. It's a fresh start. I have lipstick on my lips. Let me clean it. No, you don't. I don't? No, you don't. My lips look so red. I thought you had lipstick on. Even your lips are soft. And... Okay, yeah, we are doing toast. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, okay great. To a fresh start. To a fresh start. And forever together. Forever. And ever. And ever. And ever. And ever. And ever. Okay, I thought we would say about this word. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drop this one. We're going to drink. Oh, please. Yeah. It's more in the day outside.